I can't believe it's been one year since I've done an update on this colony. This is the first ever queen that I caught. So let's have a look at her colony, see how she is progressing, especially as we head into these warmer months. This is gonna be a great video, so make sure you stay to the end. Let's get into the video. So if you haven't guessed already, this is my colony of golden tail sugar ants, or Campanotus aneopilosus. Beautiful colony, and they're known for that golden hairs that they have on their gaster or their abdomen. Really beautiful coloring. And Queen Abigail was the first queen that I ever caught. And this is the nice colony, so I'm gonna share with you today. So here we have a look in the outworld teeming with life out here. So many workers scurrying about. Now I've just uh, cut up some mealworms and put them in for this colony uh, to enjoy. So they're running around and having a good look. And I'm glad I've got that barrier around the top there. Uh, the fluon barrier to stop them escaping because they just go crazy every time I remove the lid. Here we can see a couple of the workers getting stuck into part of the mealworm. And I have these liquid feeders in here. So uh, these couple on the screen now you'll see they're those sugar water feeders. So I've just put a nice tall one in there. They're consuming a lot at the moment. And that's because there are so many ants in this colony. Fantastic. Now this particular outworld that I have here, I updated about a year ago. And it has the plaster base with the sand put onto the top so it sticks down. This is basically make sure that they can't dig into that sand, they can't move it around and make a huge mess. It just means the outworld is a lot cleaner. And I really enjoy that because it's less maintenance. It looks nicer, there's less going in there and moving, having to move things around. Sure, the ants uh, miss out on a bit of creativity there, but I think it looks much better as well. Here's a close-up of them just uh, eating this mealworm, getting those essential proteins for the colony. Now, if you have a young colony or an existing colony, make sure you're keeping those proteins up to them. It's so essential for the growth of the brood. Now, this worker is getting really, really inside this mealworm, making sure they don't miss out of any of this essential protein. Beautiful, aren't they? And you'll notice here the different size of the workers. So we do have those majors, sometimes referred to as soldiers, those big majors, um, that come out there and they can cut out the protein and also defend the colony. Beautiful, isn't it? Well, I guess you're keen to have a look inside the actual nest and see what's been going on in there. So let's go and have a look at the nest. And here we have it. So this is an Ozant's acrylic nest, one of the large ones. Um, and we can see it's got that nice red cover on the top. On top of this, I also put another piece of cardboard to keep it really dark. But look at that, look at the size of the colony inside the nest. They really are filling it up nicely, aren't they? As we have a little bit of a closer look and we'll get some great macro footage, something really cool I wanna show you guys later. But here we can look at the, um, the progress through the nest and see how, it's, how they've laid it out. See the different um, pockets of brood, where they're keeping the cocoons, the ones that are ready to go. And we'll have, try and find Queen Abigail in here as well. So down in this corner, we can see there's quite a lot of the cocoons. So we've got workers ready to emerge. This warmer weather is now getting that brood to progress so much faster. And that's really good. New workers coming through to replace those ones that are dying of old age. But we can see everybody's nice and busy here, tending to the brood, making sure everything's fed and clean, constantly tending. And you'll see workers throughout the colony just making sure that the brood is nice and moist, making sure that they're clean so nothing kills them. No bacteria can grow on them. Here we can see uh, trophallaxis happening, which is workers regurgitating food that they've collected from the outworld and they've brought back into the nest to feed. We can see lots of young eggs that are here and larvae just growing, just hatched from those eggs as they move them all around. And look at that beautiful coloration of the abdomens on these and you can truly see where they get that name of the golden tail sugar ants 
we're going to have a little bit of a closer look um, see if we can get some really good detail with the macro lens on their abdomens and have a look at those hairs so definitely a nice big uh, pile of cocoons here that we can see which is great this colony it was my very first queen that I ever caught and hence why my logo is the way it is with that golden abdomen um, because of these this particular species the very first one in my collection so beautiful isn't it well what we're going to do is uh, have a have a look with the macro lens get up nice and close look at some good detail of these ants and again I've got that nice thing um, that I'll show you shortly um, recorded up very very close which really excited to share with you so make sure you stay around for that so you can see here we've got a the pile of uh, brood in these different pockets now they move them around depending on the moisture gradient within the nest if it's nice and moist that's generally where they want to keep the uh, the brood to keep them nice and moist and hydrated and then the cocoons will be over in a drier section of the nest okay well let's have a look at these abdomens and see if we can get up nice and close now you'll see they've got some hairs that are sticking up which are nice and shiny but then you can see very fine hairs on that abdomen uh, they're all sort of slick nice nice and slick back aren't they they've got those bands of the um, black through them as well now when the abdomen's slightly swollen those black bands are a bit more prominent but you can see those beautiful fine hairs isn't that just amazing when you see them outside, quite often you don't get to see the golden hairs on them unless you look really closely. But under the beautiful macro lens here, we really can get to see the beautiful colours. Here we have a major. Again, you can see all of the workers have this coloration on them. Just amazing. Beautiful, beautiful species. Have you kept this species before? Do you have it as part of your collection? Let me know in the comments below. Really keen to see how you've gone with the collection. Now, over here we have Queen Abigail. And I'll just try and get a little bit closer on here. But what you can see there is that she doesn't have any of the golden colours on her abdomen at all. She's got those fine hairs that are sticking up and she's got some uh, those black bands. But there's no golden hairs on her at all. So when you capture her, it can be quite uh, tricky. You think, what is this species? It's not until the workers turn up that you can go, wow, there it is. It is a golden tail sugar end. Now, this is the bit I wanted to show you. Have a look at this. Now, this is trophallaxis between a normal worker and a major. And you can see here, um, the worker on the right has opened its mandibles right up. And it's got those mouth parts there just transferring over uh, to this major. Uh, the major there is using its antennae just to stroke the worker, um, just to keep that flow coming. But isn't that amazing? I just love to be able to see this detail with the macro lens and see what's happening. Now something I've noticed quite a lot in the Campanotus um, genus, inside the nests, the majors act as repletes. And that basically is storage for the colony. So they'll store the protein, store the sugars inside them, and then workers can come to them when they need them. And they can feed and keep that colony going, even store the water for them really really fascinating to see and this is the beauty of having a nest that you can see inside well that's a look inside the nest and we can see that sure there still is a fair bit of room available here which is nice but remember there's so many workers in the outworld so they may need an update shortly but what a beautiful colony I'm so happy with this colony and glad I'm available to do a little bit of an update so I hope you really enjoyed this update on Queen Abigail and the Golden Tail Sugar Ants. Beautiful colony, I'm very proud to have it in my collection. Thank you for staying and watching the video right the way through. For as little as $1 a month, you can support the channel and you'll get early access to videos, behind the scenes information and plenty of other perks on different levels as well. So I really appreciate your support. Thank you very much. An absolute massive thank you to my wonderful Patreons for supporting my channel. Absolutely amazing and I really do appreciate it. Thanks Medical Carcass 9, Hugh Janus, Gordon C, Ant Nation and Nicholas Strano. 
well please hit that subscribe button if you've got this far in the video so you don't miss out on any of the wonderful things that I've got to share with you in the future. There's a video recommended for you and one that I picked that I think you might really enjoy. Thanks for watching and happy ant keeping.